Hey modelers, welcome back to Matt's Model Shop. Another fun-filled episode for you guys here. We're gonna we're gonna kind of show you what uh, what's been going on right in, right this last few weeks or few weeks, few days. Um, first off, I added the little um, LED point here. <laughs> I had it all white blocked. Everything was great, and then I went and glued it in and and um, puttied around it and everything. Got it somewhat sanded down, and then tried to light in it. And all my light blocking got sanded off, so I have to I have to go out and paint it again, which that's just great. That's what I wanted to do. But anyway, um, so we've got that going. In, inside, you'll notice a lot of difference. I've got a whole bunch of spaghetti in here. Um, what I've been doing is wiring wiring up the secondary hull so that it's all ready for closing up. Uh, one of the main things has been wiring up the pylons here. Um, the main things it, it needs three circuits up up in the up in the nacelles. The first one is for the strobe lights, which are in the back, so that's these two wires. And then these two wires are solid power and ground. And then I put up a blue wire to light up the um, warp engines when I turn them on, so they'll actually share the ground wire with the solid power. So five wires going up right there. The flasher wires come down and tie in with the, with the uh, flasher LED that I have in the bottom here, so they all tie together right here. And then the wires, I've got an extra extra long length here because they'll go up the up the neck into the saucer. So um, those are all set to go. Um, I've also uh, put in the LED in the in the back here, the one that needs light blocking again. Hooray! Um, and uh, a couple more odds and ends. So we're we're getting there. Oh yeah, here's the yeah, here's where the uh, warp engine light uh, wires comes out come out. So. Um, basically, we're getting we're getting um, as much of this ready to go as we can so that we can close it. The other thing that I did was I painted the little uh, tractor emitter windows here. Uh, I painted them red and put them in so that I can work on lighting them. And that's actually in my very first refit. That's something I actually forgot to put in. I had it all closed up and I was moving on and then one day I noticed those lights weren't lit and realized I hadn't put an LED in there. So. Um, the solution in this case, I think, if you put if you just put an LED right behind it, you get a really big hot spot right in the center, and we don't want that. So um, most of them get lit from the lighting that's on the top of the secondary hull um, for the shuttle bay, but you still don't get quite enough on the on the top there. So what I'm going to do is on the shuttle bay itself, I'm going to mount a um, an SMD right at the edge, pointing at the at the uh, windows and when I did that when I mocked it up and did that they lit up really perfectly so um, that's the solution there the other another piece I've got these these two um, whatever they are I always thought these were the tractor emitters but who knows whatever um, they're actually out in the paint booth right now they've been light blocked and and reprimed and I'm getting ready to actually paint those the final color so that I can install them um, I'll put them in and then um, on Jerry's mask set, he's got actual masks for those, so we'll mask them off so that we don't paint them over. Um, so I've got to do those those little bits, and then the very last bit is I've got to cut out some windows for the, for the Arboretum. Now what works really well is using a blister pack. You know, if you get a package um, that you, you know, those packages that you, that you have to cut open and cuss and swear at those things are great plastic for cutting little windows out of when they're when they're a little larger like this so um, I think I've got one around here that I that I got a cell phone case in that that will work perfectly I'll just trim out a little bit of it and and glue it up right up against the the uh, window frames there and then put the arboretum in and it should be nice and clear also um, Jerry's mask set also included masks for those windows as well so uh, we can mask off basically everything on the secondary hull uh, before we before we prime it and and do all the paint work on it. So that's that's going to be great. Um, if you guys didn't notice, I did not put in the uh, window pieces with the kit. I actually did on my previous one, and this one I'm not going to. Um, I've discovered that it's easier just to use micro crystal clear or canopy glue or even Elmer's glue works. You know, just you can make your own windows. And um, it's a lot easier to get them flush with the outside. And you also don't have to worry about masking them at all. You just, you know, you just go ahead and spray and don't worry about it. And then, and then you fill the windows in later. So um, that's a little trick for you guys. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. You can use the window pieces 
Um, uh, the only thing I would suggest is not only glue them in, but hot glue them in. Um, I actually had one fall out on my previous refit and I had to get creative making new ones. So, um, just keep that in mind that they, they don't like to stay in permanently. So, um, but otherwise we're making really good headway and, and the next time when I come back, I'm hoping to have the rest of this all completed the, the, these pieces installed. When you do these pieces, I may have mentioned it in the previous episode, but when you do these, um, you do have to, if you've got it assembled like this, you have to grind out just a little bit of the side of the, of the clear part that goes in there or else they won't fit properly. So they're designed to actually press in before you glue the piece on. And that, that for, for me, this works a little bit better. So I just ground off a little bit of the side so that it'll sneak in there and that works too. So, um, otherwise we're, we're, uh, doing really well. Once the secondary hole is closed, I'm going to, uh, light block, um, this part right here. This is the piece that goes on the front there, um, for mounting it to the, to the stand on this particular build. I'm going to use the stock stand because like I said, I'm doing this one pretty much straight out of the box. So this is a, this is a show, show everyone that you can build it out of the box and it doesn't look bad build. So, um, we're going to use the kit stand and I'm going to do some, some lighting on it actually to try to make it look a little more flashy. Um, so, but yeah, the next piece will be to, um, to light block and, um, prime this part here. And I'm also going to drill the hole on the top here, um, for my wiring to come through. I'm going to, I'm not going to use the stock pole because it's a solid pole. We're going to use a, uh, a brass tube for it instead, um, that I got at uh, hobby town. This is a, a three eighths inch, um, piece here. So I just got some three eighths inch brass tube and you just cut it to length and you drill out the hole, drill a hole in the bottom and you drill a hole right through, right through here. And all of your wiring can fit down in there. No, no sweats. So, and then you can put some switches on the front and turn your, turn your model on and off. So real, real easy. So, um, that's, what's coming up. So hopefully, hopefully by the end, the end, um, by the time I post this video, I'm going to have this, I'm going to try to have this, uh, everything installed and this part closed and be working on this. Um, and we'll try to get, we'll try to get all that installed and start working on the neck. Cause, um, I really want to get, get the secondary hull complete as soon as possible. Um, because this is this is sort of where all of the wiring goes through and everything, and this this to me is the biggest um, pain part here. Even it's even more of a pain than the saucer because there's just so many little bits inside of this this thing. So we will get it done as soon as we can. So sit tight. I'll be back with uh, with uh, more in just a few minutes. Okay, and I've got everything crammed in here. So. As you can see, there's a lot of wires, 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 but we have our two um, little tractor beam emitters here. Um, I also have the light for the for the uh, this thing back here. <laughs> I need to I need to um, hot glue it down to the shuttle bay. I'm going to glue it right there so that I'll keep it from having too much of a hot spot. Um, we'll see if I can keep that from happening, but I have that one in there too. The, uh, the navigation light on the bottom is connected, but here's the, here's the wires for it. Um, I need to tie those in with the ones on the top, um, on this one right here. You can see I've got tulip over it, big black blob, but I need to tie those two together and have those, um, go up the neck to the, to the Arduino board for the, for the nav flashers. So, um, it is all coming together. It looks like I'm going to be able to close this thing after all, but I've got the shuttle bay and the arboretum in. You can see the arboretum kind of jammed in there. So if you look, I've also put in some windows. And if the stupid thing will focus, or not get blown out, come on. Well, as you can see, it's in there and you can see trees and things. It looks better in reality, trust me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so once this, once this is all closed, I can start work, working on uh, the neck. Um, I'll also probably attach it to the to the mount for the the uh, stand and start getting the wiring run through the run through the pole so that we can kind of get this thing built correctly. So yeah, it's coming right along. So next, 
next uh, next time I come here, we should have the top on and glued down and all this stuff hot glued. I'm gonna take all these wires that are down here, just kind of loose from the SMDs and the in the side lights here. And I'm gonna hot glue them down to the shuttle bay all the way down so that they're not flopping around in there. And I'll try to keep everything nice and neat inside so that you know you don't you don't see that stuff through the windows or anything like that. We want to keep it as clean as possible. So so uh yeah, more hot gluing in my future. But um yeah, next we'll have the top on and the front ring on and we'll we'll start working on the next. So I'll be back in a few and you'll be able to see some of that. So hold tight. All right, modelers. Well, we got everything put in here and it's ready to actually button up. I did run into a couple of little minor issues though. Um, one thing was when I got everything put in here and everything put away, the Arboretum's in, the shuttle bay's in, when I put the lid on there was a massive gap on both sides. It wouldn't close all the way. And I realized there's actually right inside here, back behind this beam, there's a little thing that pushes down on the shuttle bay to kind of hold it in place. And that was actually too long. So. Um, it just wouldn't wouldn't go together quite right, so I took my Dremel with the uh, sanding drum and I just sanded off just the just a little tiny bit of it, and that allowed it to close. So now it now it closes perfectly fine. So so I am ready to actually uh, glue this thing shut. Um, so I know I told you guys I'd get it shut this time, but I think I'm actually going to get it shut for the next time. So um, in the next video, you'll see you'll see this thing all glued together and. And uh, I'll be working on mounting the the mount point for it, so that'll be the next piece. Um, one thing that I also did was I installed all of the LEDs back here for the shuttle bay. So I got the little blue blue dealies and the red dealie. Actually, I said that last time, didn't I? But I got all the lights in, and um, it actually didn't create the hot spot like I was afraid of on the red um, the red win windows, or if that's the tractor beam emitter. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but um, it all looks pretty good. The shuttle bay looks good. Um, it's very well lit. It's all looking really sharp. I mean, you can really see down in there decently, you know. Like I said before, you can't see great details down there, but you can see that way back in there. So it's a pretty neat setup. And the Arboretum turned out pretty good, too. You can see in there nicely. So these are the wires that have to go up to the, up to the uh, saucer. Um, these two are for the strobe, and these two are for the for the nav lights. So I need to send up some some main power and um, the warp and and uh, impulse mode um, wiring needs to come down also. So we've got we've got probably six or eight wires that have to go up to the saucer. So and then I've also got the ones going to the the nacelle. So we're we are making great progress. This thing is going to be awesome when it when it gets done. I'm very thrilled so far. So, um, if you guys are enjoying it, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And um, um, as always, I, I've I hope you guys have enjoyed um, the videos, and I'm ho I'm hoping you're getting some good tips out of it. Um, if you need to if you need to know anything, let me know. I'd be happy to happy to help out as best I can. So. Um, I hope this video has been of interest to you, and, and thanks a lot for watching. Yeah.